Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. It's Sam I.V. DeGangie doing political commentary for The Media Speaks. And uh, before we get into it here, we have only one topic. So what, what's that mean? It means that the dumdy of the day is the main story of the day. Now, usually for those regular viewers here, you know that the dumdy of the day tends to be something that comes at the end. Yep, there it is, our dumdy music. So why are we listening to dumdy of the day music when the show is just starting? I'm going to tell you why, friends. Bernie Sanders has managed today to outdo himself. And by that, I mean in a massive way. There's a lot of talk about whether or not we can afford his ideas. There's a whole lot of talk about whether or not his form of socialism, democratic socialism, which is supposed to be more about the little guy, is somehow different than other forms of socialism were, whether it was Stalin or Hitler or whoever. Those were more dictatorial, right? And that they want to turn the power over to the people using their own words. This is what democratic socialists believe. And this is what democratic socialists say that Bernie Sanders is going to do. And now that he's in the race, he has raised an exuberant amount of money in almost no time at all. So let me go ahead here and quickly address why this was so particularly alarming for me. And I think anybody who is willing to look at facts, now again, I, I put this in the description, I'm fully aware that there are a large number of people who their mind is already made up. They're going to vote for Bernie Sanders, no matter what the truth or the facts, which I'm about to get to, may say. It doesn't matter what the correct view is, if you will. It only matters that their mind is already made up. And you see this clearly in the way that many of the same people continue to attack Donald Trump, even though there seems to be quite a bit of evidence mounting that Donald Trump hasn't done anything wrong at all. I mean, I'm not saying every transaction the man ever made was upfront and wonderful, but I don't think you're going to find anybody, including Bernie Sanders in Congress, who is Lily White when it comes to business. And if you don't believe me on that, go. I wrote quite a bit on this. Go ahead and look up exactly what it is that Bernie Sanders and his wife did to a number of colleges, and you'll find that his business past isn't all that clear either. But my bigger point is that there isn't a growing, num a growing amount of evidence showing that Trump cheated to get into the White House. But there are a number of people who are largely Bernie supporters who will refuse to hear that, and they will also, unfortunately, refuse to hear what I'm saying here. But I'm going to go ahead and put this out there, and I'm openly asking for shares for those people who are willing to hear the truth. Now, this is from the American Mirror. It was posted in Prison Planet, but it's from the American Mirror. Socialist Bernie Sanders rejects Guido as Venezuelan president, refuses to call Modero a dictator. Now, pause. Let me say openly that as a Donald Trump supporter, I am not in favor of us getting boots on the ground or in any other way militarily involved with Venezuela. I hope this is something that he's doing to show muscle, which it most likely is. And I don't see us going to Venezuela. However, I would like to say openly that I'm against that. With that being true, I can still say that I think the man is a dictator. I don't think America needs to be gallivanting into every uh, situation where there's a dictator involved and go about the uh, expensive and costly and deadly, people die, deadly form of our empire regime, regime change that we see so often. But I can tell that the man's a dictator. I can tell that he's stolen the people's rights. He's tried to price fix the economy. He's brought all kinds of socialist ideas into the country. And it has ruled the people like an iron fist. To not call him a dictator is a very, very frightening thing to say. Because if you're supposed to be standing up for the rights of the people, like democratic socialists are saying, that's what we keep hearing, right? Well, this seems to me like it would be a rather substantial problem. So if you hate Trump, maybe you might want to look at the Green Party. 
If you hate Trump, maybe you might want to look at libertarians. But I'll tell you what you might not want to do. You might not want to go ahead and look towards Bernie Sanders if you're for the little guy. Just hear me out here. Senator Bernie Sanders is even more fringe than White House Nancy Pelosi on socialism. During an interview Tuesday with Univision's George Ramos, the Vermont socialist, refused to call on Venezuela dictator Nicolas Maduro to step down, wouldn't admit that Maduro's a dictator, and dodged a question on whether Juan Guaido should be recognized as Venezuela, Venezuela's leader. The bizarre segment, it says, began when Ramos asked Sanders, who announced last week that he is running for president, whether he considers National Assembly President Juan Guaido the legitimate leader of Venezuela. He said, quote, no. I think what has to happen right now, I think there are serious questions about the recent election. There are many people who feel it was a fraudulent election. And I think that the United States has got to work with the international community to make sure that there is a free and fair election in Venezuela, said Sanders. Now, that is the classic example, friends, of question dodge. Ramos gave Sanders another chance by asking if he believes Madero is a dictator and if he should step down. Bernie again refused to speak ill of the socialist dictator. I think clearly he has been very, very abusive. That is a decision of the Venezuelan people. So I think, George, there has got to be a free and fair election, Sanders said again, dodging the question. Now, let me, let me make something very clear here. Democratic socialists have been saying that they're nothing like Venezuela. Nothing at all like Venezuela. And yet, when a democratic socialist steps forward to run, he suddenly won't come out against Venezuela's leadership. Again, I'm not saying we should go militarily involved there. I don't think we should. But I don't think it's wrong to call the man what he is, either. I think that's a rather prudent idea. You, you label problems, and he is definitely a problem. The other takeaway from this, and you won't get this elsewhere, Bernie fans, you know your guy was cheated last time, right? A matter of public record, cheated by Hillary Clinton and the DNC, right? Well, Nancy Pelosi, the leader, leader of the Democrat Party, is, uh, leadership, I should say, is now already coming out against Sanders. So he may get cheated again, which, I mean, it's for the better of the country the, in the long run. But the point being, you know, I, I it does not bode well for the long-term outlook of third parties and people who dare to bring something new to the party. Donald Trump was very lucky to do what he did because, I mean, I mean even his most ardent haters would definitely say he's not a standard Republican. He's much more a libertarian, um, or at least an independent libertarian. The United States, most of Latin America, and several other nations have officially recognized Guaido as Venezuela's legitimate leader after years of Madero oppressing, starving, and harming thousands of innocent citizens. For the little guy, right, Bernie? Madero has refused to step down, but Guaido declared himself the legitimate leader since the country's constitution states that he can assume power if a president is deemed illegitimate. So... What's going on over there, again, another reason I don't want our boots on the ground there, what we are seeing going on over there is uh, the wording of their particular constitution creating a larger gray area, I think, than a lot of people understand. And it's because of the way the country is set up. Ironically enough, Pelosi has publicly thrown her support behind Guaido as le the legitimate leader. I support the decision of the National Assembly, Venezuela's sole remaining democratic institution, to recognize Juan Guaido, president of the National Assembly, as the interim president until full, fair, and free elections can be held. Again, this is Pelosi. The United States must respect legitimate democratic process and support the right of the people of Venezuela to protest and defend their human rights, she said in a statement. That's the House Speaker. She's a Democrat, so already her and Bernie are not on the same page, at least not yet, unless there's some great French kiss happening at the convention. And again, I know that the United States has things that create gray areas here, but to have such a 
huge problem with the definition of definition of illegitimacy in Venezuela is one of the biggest problems here. The House Speaker even took it one step further, it says, and slammed Madero's socialist policies for pushing Venezuela to the brink of total collapse. Hmm. So Nancy Pelosi, I mean, we're talking about Democrats here. Nancy Pelosi feels that the policies put forth by Madero have destroyed the country, but Bernie Sanders won't come out and condemn them. Okay. Nicolas Madero's regime of repression and impoverishment for his personal enrichment continues to gravely violate human rights and must be condemned swiftly to the four inter by the foreign international community, said Pelosi. His recent decision to block bridges and cut off channels of food and supplies, cutting off food and supplies, imperils the health and futures of the Venezuelan people and must be immediately reversed. Again, these are people who didn't flee their country. They stayed where they were. He's stopping aid getting to them. It's a strange day, it says, when Pelosi has come down harder on socialism than Sanders. Now, here's what I'm trying to get people to understand here. This is why I'm asking for shares on this. Every time that socialism has managed to brand itself as different and new and helpful and it's going to be successful this time. Every time that that's ever happened, we've seen a Maduro-like situation. And now we have what could very likely be the leader, the leader I mean in terms of poll numbers. He raised what, you know, millions of million dollars in what was it, six hours or something. I don't know what it was. It was insane. We have a lot of people following this guy. He may be the, the leader in terms of poll numbers, like I tried to just say. And what are you going to find? Are you going to find him being as different as he says he is? Because by his own words, and by the words of other people within his party, he doesn't think that. I think you should take that and uh, really analyze that before you pull the lever for Mr. Sanders. Friends, you've listened to The Correct Views. Please hit share. Please hit subscribe. And uh, friends, I really need donations. It helps me keep everything going here. So please do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Friends, every penny you give to me, I give towards a better show. Good night, friends. God bless.